DJ, welcome to BBC Radio Wales. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. And how are you? I'm very well, but I haven't been working uh, my socks off like you. When, when you perform for audiences, you've got so much energy, you can keep going all day long. Oh, my, yeah, yeah, you can when you're 24. Not like me when I'm double your age. So you're back tangoing with uh, Lauren Steadman. Um, is it yeah. less pressure than the TV series? I think there is a bit of less pressure because you know that nobody's going to go home at the end of the at the end of each of the show in the arenas. And uh, Lauren, of course, an incredible uh, para-athlete. And I would think that she would be used to venues like this with thousands of people watching. She is used to the venues, but as, as she keeps reminding me, she's not used to dancing in them. I think that, <laughs> that's the, the slight little bit of information there. They're dancing in there. Um, she's quite happy to swim, cycle and run. But yeah, the pressure comes on when they say, yeah, we have to do a... Beanie's wall smash, like, yeah, okay, okay, keep focus. <laughs> the thing is, she's a pro now after having you by her side for... That's what I keep telling you. You know. Pro. So, did you think, can I just go back to the Strictly series, did you think that she would have been able to do all the re routines that you did before you started on this Strictly journey together? Yeah, for me, there was never ever going to be a disability. For me, it was always about ability with Lauren. And you can tell that she's a world champion. If someone's a world champion, you know that they put the blood, sweat and tears into it to get there. It's, it's never an easy road. And as soon as we met first day, I remember in this training room, it was always it was always going to work. We kind of, You know, when instantly, you know, this, this is going to be good. I don't know how far we're going to get. I, I was overwhelmed to get all the way to the semi-finals. So close to the final, yet so far. But um, no, I was very, very happy with Lauren as a partner. She kind of, she went above and beyond for me. Well, can you just tell us, because, you know, you've also, of course, um, uh, you were paired up with Claudia Fragapani, who, again, is a competitor. Uh, singer Molly King, not so, of course. But out of the three of them, you know, who would you say had the biggest will to win? The biggest will to win, that would have to be Molly. Molly really? would train to the point of non-stop. Molly would go, we were doing like, 12 hours a day and that 12 hours was non-stop she had to do it again and again and again until she felt comfortable to go and do it for the live audiences and obviously the difference is with having an olympic athlete sometimes it's harder to get the emotion out or to portray that emotion because they're obviously told to, to kind of not show their emotion through their sport because that can be classed as a weakness so for me it's harder to get emotion out of an athlete that's for sure that's interesting. So interesting. So, uh, how much fun has it been? Uh, you know, being reunited with uh, reunited, I should say, with Lauren and all the other celebrities for this Honestly, tour. Honestly, yeah, ha having everyone together, the pros, the celebrities, it is it's one giant. Honestly, party. We really just enjoy ourselves, and especially for some of the celebrities, this is going to be the last time they're going to be in that strictly bubble. So for them, they kind of. They, they're loving every second of it, and, and you can honestly see that through their eyes. Yeah. Um, but there is very exciting news for AJ Pritchard fans, because you have your very own tour starting next month. No Welsh dates, sadly, AJ, but we won't hold that against you. I know, you. I'm sad about that too. I do love Wales. Oh, uh, well, I'm very sad about that. you know, you're, you're practically Welsh. You're just on the border there in Cheshire, aren't you? But tell I us... I am on the border. You are in Nantwich. Uh, tell us about Get On The Floor then, your show. What can we expect? From that show, honestly, it's about all the best parts of Strictly, plus seeing my personal side. It's more than just boring and Latin. It's Street, it's tap, it's ballet, it's all all the dramas of dance. So for me, it's really it's going to be something that I've always wanted to do. And it's a real honour for me to be able to do it. And I'm just talking about tour number two here. Let's move on to tour number three, AJ. Goodness me, I don't think there's nothing going to be of you by the time Strictly <laughs> Come Dancing returns in September. Um, we will get a chance to see you in Wales soon because you are joining up with your fellow dancers from the series for Strictly Come Dancing, The Professionals. So um, yeah. who are you going to be partnering then for this tour? We're going to be we're going to be doing a bit of both. Um, we're going to be swapping partners. So I'll be doing a bit with Diane, I'm sure, a bit with Karen, a bit with the guys, and then some of the girls. And the great thing is, with this tour, it is like you see the group numbers on Strictly. Yeah. They are fantastic. They are out of this world. 
and not saying that sometimes the celebrities hold us back, but we have to adapt our routines to best showcase their talents. And I think this tour is going to be like seeing the professionals do what they've been trained in. We're obviously trained dancers in our own rights, doing different things and different styles. Yeah. So for us, we get to go out there and really go a bit crazy. And there's no limit. Our, our, I'm going to say our imagination is our limit. And that's what this professional story is going to be. Plus, you're going to see more detail regarding our personal life, regarding how we got into dancing, what makes us tick, and how, how we kind of maybe channel our energy when we are choreographing. That kind of personal side that people want and need to see more of, that's what you're going to see on this tour, which I'm honestly so excited to be able to do this debut tour. Well, it's going to be a great, great one for you, isn't it? My special guest today is Strictly uh, dancer AJ Pritchard, who is about to head out on his Get On The Floor tour, and he's coming to Wales with the Strictly Come Dancing, the professionals in May, heading to venue Cymru in Llantidno and the Motor Point Arena in Cardiff. Uh, you know what? I can't believe that you're you know, trying to squeeze so much in. Um, can I ask you, to, as, as brothers then, growing up, both of you, professional dancers um where did it all start for you what drew you to the ballroom um my dad was a dancer but he was always like you'll never dance it costs too much money there's too much traveling it's just there's just it's a nightmare um and then at the age of 12 um we just decided to start dancing as soon as i do something i have to do it to win and not that i'm competitive or anything um and then yeah, I just got hooked, and honestly, time has flown by, and I still can't believe that it happened so so quickly. I was like, I wanted to do it, and then I did a competition. I did really bad, as we all do the first time we do something, and then mum and dad, I think, were hoping that I'd say no, I'm not going to do it anymore. And then I was like, no, I need to do it now. I have to. It's that adrenaline. I used to play football very competitively, but I got more adrenaline and more of a kick from dancing and performing in front of a live audience. And. I'm intrigued in knowing what your mother and father look like as well, because you and Curtis are two pretty boys. <laughs> uh, is it in the genes? Obviously, the dancing is in the genes. My mum is very beautiful, let's, let's say that. Mum's, mum's got all the good looks. <laughs> uh, so, um, perhaps we could have the AJ and Curtis tour one day. Have you talked about that? One day that will happen. One day that will happen. <laughs> have, you, have you crossed that's, paths that's in pretty... competitions? Oh, always, but don't you worry, I always beat him. Brotherly love and all that, but I always won. Do you fight? No. No? no actually, that's one thing. We are best of friends, me and my brother, and that's, that is the secret to, um, I think, enjoying life. And He is my best friend, and I can always call him like I do most days. Oh. Um, yeah, we are a very close family, and that's so nice to, to be able to say that. And uh, you mentioned you played football at a competitive level. What kind of level are we talking about? I used to play for Crew Alex. Did you? Where I am, yeah. But um, as soon as the dancing started, I kind of, I didn't have time to do anything else. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm quite good with my left and right foot. <laughs> All right, then. So if the dancing hadn't worked out, what would be or would have been your ambition at the age of 24? Um, I enjoy driving fast on a track. A racing car driver. Oh my god, you're an adrenaline junkie, basically, aren't you? I, li I literally am, yeah. Yeah, yeah. My hobbies are snowboarding as well, which is probably not the best. I haven't had really had time to go snowboarding in the past year, but um, yeah, anything that's fast, dangerous, adrenaline, that's me. Oh god, so basically, have you insured your legs then, just in case? Um, I, ha I have got some very good insurance, <laughs> yeah. All right, well, don't use them. Don't use that insurance policy <laughs> quite yet. A, a little birdie tells me that you have got aspirations as well to go into the world of presenting. Yes, no, honestly, for me, in the future, that is one way that I would love to go. And honestly, if someone said, what is your dream job? It would have to be presenting in cars. So it would have to be a Top Gear style show. That would be the dream. But at the moment, I'm doing more presenting with um, CBBC, with kids' channels and... Doing live presenting is always fun because you have to think on your toes the same way that you would if you're performing in front of a live audience when you're dancing and things don't go to plan, which it does seem to happen more than often. And that, that presenting side, it really makes me tick and I love, I love to do that job. Well, listen, whenever you're in Cardiff, I'll take a day off and you can do this show, all right? 
Perfect. No, no, you have to do it with me. Oh, can't, 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 you can't take a day off. You've got to do it with me. Oh, I, maybe I'll take an hour off in the middle of it. It's lovely speaking to you. Thank you so much for your time. No, thank you very much. Thank you.